We're going to stay with the phone lines, Pastor Carl. I believe we have Stephanie from Portland. Good morning, Stephanie. You are live with Pastor Carl. What is your question? Hi. Um, thank you for taking my question. So I have friends who are believers who kind of live um, as if every little tiny thing is under God's dominion. For example, they'll pray for a good parking space, or they'll pray that their <laughs> baked goods turn out well, or something like that. And then I have other friends who are also believers who think that that's silly, and they say that those people, they would say, are oversaved. <laughs> right, going right. Going too far. Okay. So what are your thoughts on that? I wish uh, Walter could play my spot off of uh, X. Uh, maybe you could pull it up, Walter, and run it through the microphone. And this is a time for a good commercial. Look, I, I know there's a lot of perversion on the Internet, and I want to use the devil's sword to cut off his own head. So maybe some listeners would want to follow me on YouTube and certainly on X. And so go ahead and play that spot. That would be my quick answer. You can follow me on X. Uh, just type in Carl Brogy or search the scriptures. Everything. You should pray about a Bible study you're to lead, and you should pray for a parking spot. Everything is important to God. You say, well, Pastor, I pray about the big things. I don't usually pray about the little things. Let me ask you something. Is there anything big to an omnipotent, all-powerful God? There's nothing unimportant to God. It's all little to Him. I mean, there's nothing too small that God is not interested in if He goes to every sparrow's funeral, if He has the hairs on your head numbered. I don't know about you, but I love to hear the prayer of either a child or a new believer who hasn't learned all the lingo yet. You just hear, among other things, their heart. And it's no accident that Jesus said, unless you become like a little child, you will never make it into the kingdom. All right. So those are shorts that are put on X and YouTube, and they encourage a lot of people during the day. But that would be my short answer. And of course, God's word plainly says, pray about everything in that it says, pray without ceasing. And so if we are in a spirit of prayer throughout the day, fellowshipping with the Lord, then we should be praying about everything. And like I mentioned in that little short there, uh, there's nothing big to God. There's nothing small to God. Um, are not two sparrows sold for a cent? And yet not one of them will fall to the ground apart from your father. But the very hairs of your head are numbered. And so the scripture reminds us, Jesus goes on to say that we're more valuable than little birds. And yet God, quote unquote, attends the funeral of every sparrow. He notices it all. That's how deep and profound and broad his care for us goes. And so, you know, your friends, um, again, how they do it, I think is important. Uh, sometimes people do it in a holier than thou, almost arrogant way trying to show you how spiritual they are, but that kind of communication and fellowship should go on with the Lord all day. Yesterday, I had to go and uh, get a set of tires on my Honda Accord, and they were wearing out, and I had to go to, I've got to travel here before too long, and I thought, we, we, we better get some new tires, and I said, Lord, I don't have time today. This is my only day off Please help me to get a place where I can get some tires put on, where I don't have to sit in the place all day. So I called this one place, and I said, can you take me? He said, I don't have anyone in the bay. I said, well, you told me that two years ago when I came, and when I got there, the place was packed. I said, if I leave my house right now, I can be there in 14 minutes. Will you take me? He said, I will take you, and I will start immediately. So I drive there, and every bay is filled but one. So something happened in 14 minutes, or he wasn't telling the truth. But I, I take it. I want to believe the best. And he let me in, and he um, immediately started working on my car. He said, I'm going to work on it myself. And I was literally out in 25 minutes, like he said. Now I'm in the waiting room. And I said, Lord, do you want me to talk to this older gentleman over here? Maybe he's not saved. And of course, um, I prayed for an opportunity. I said, you're getting a set of skins? I knew he knew those terms. He said, yeah, man, I'm getting a set of skins for my rig here. I haven't had them put on in 10 years. And one thing led to another and had the opportunity to talk to him about the Lord Jesus. And as it turns out, he was not saved. So yes, pray about everything. Pray throughout the day. Fellowship with the Lord. 
nothing is uh, big to an omnipotent God and everything that we might consider as small is important to the Lord, but don't do it obviously in a boisterous, arrogant, holier than thou way. And your friends who don't think these things are important aren't reading the scripture very carefully. They may have been influenced by a book that was came out years ago called Decision Making in the Will of God, where he says, well, you know, you just make decisions and you don't have to pray about everything. Well, I'm not being a legalist here. Lord, do you want me to have crest toothpaste or, um, you know, arm and hammer? And God might say, you idiot, get the one that's cheapest and the one that tastes the best to you. So, you know, there's some decisions that we make, but we should be in a spirit of prayer throughout the day. Good, good. And so Gary Friesen's book actually did a lot of damage in terms of how to discover God's will. And I preached a sermon on that years ago. It's still in print, uh, which is amazing because most evangelical presses do about 30,000 books a year and only about 3% make a second printing. Uh, But it's done damage. And some people, because of that, don't pray as they ought. Good question. Let's go to the next. Dr. Carl Brogy answers your questions about the Bible and living the Christian life Tuesday mornings at 11 on The Light, 88.7 FM, and online around the world at wagp.net.